Hello, I'm Miss Heidi from the Bloomfield Public Library, and I am here today to share this wonderful read aloud with you called This Is Me by Jamie Lee Curtis. Uh, this book we are reading um, this month in to celebrate immigration as part of our big read. We participated in the Big Read National Endowment for the Arts Big Read uh, and partnered with the Eastern Connecticut State University. Um, for our big read this year, and we're focusing on emigration. So I thought this story would fit very nicely into that. So something a little, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the story as well. Uh, so this story was a 2016 National Parenting Product Award winner um, from the New York Times bestselling creative team of Jamie Lee Curtis and Laura Cornell comes this picture book about immigration, raising important identity issues. Where did we come from and who are we? In This Is Me, a teacher tells her class about her great grandmother's dislocating journey from home to a new country with nothing but a small suitcase to bring along. And she asks, what would you pack? What are the things you love best? What says this is me? So I hope you'll keep those things in mind as we read through this story. You might want to make a list of some of the things that you might take if you all of a sudden were told we're leaving tomorrow. Here's your suitcase. Fill it up. What says you? What what would you bring in your suitcase? This is me, a story of who we are and where we came from. There's the big boat. And there this is the family with their suitcases coming down the um, off of the boat on the ramp. Now we go to the setting of a teacher in her classroom with her students. And you can see what the students are doing in this picture. It looks like they're all looking in something and that looks like a suitcase. They're gathering around the teacher um, and she's ready to tell the story um, about uh, her own great grandmother. So let's begin. My great grandmother came from a far distance place. She came on a boat with just this small case. Great grandmother left her family and friends to cross the great sea to a land at the end. And here's the story when she was a young girl. Her parents informed her she had no say. Tomorrow we leave for a place far away. So fill up this case with the things you love best. Sadly, you'll have to leave all of the rest. Did she wear all her clothes to leave her more space? Could her family album fit in this case? I know she took ribbons and some things to eat and shoes when they said to take care of her feet. Her whole family tree pen and pencil set, one writing journal, a comb and barrette. Great, great grandmother's necklace, her own handmade doll that she clutched on her journey when she felt very small. Wow, that was, that was her grandmother's story. How did she do it? What would you take? Would you be scared that you've made a mistake? How would you know in this case what to pack? And that once you had left, there'd be no coming back. So you, my dear class, have big choices to make. When you bring this case home, what will you take? We'll hear from some of these students. I couldn't take paintings or diglet my rat or trophies or school books or dad's hand carved bat. I'd take lots of photos and the doll my gram sewed 
and my first in line ticket to Katie's first show. My punk rocker Barbie, because my mom was one too. My barely stuffed bear, old Winnie the Pooh. Abuelo's Barre, my ukulele, my St. Christopher medal to look out for me. My USA passport that makes me feel free. My Nintendo DS with my fave Luigi. My signed Harry Potter, my baby's tooth 10, my aunt's high, class, high school class ring, my dad's navy pin. My Groucho Marx glasses, Weird Al signed CD, my Notre Dame jersey, my karate G. Legos, a camera to film what I leave. If this really happened, it would be hard to believe. But I'd be so excited with all that was new, people and things to meet and to do. Great work, Elena, for the time that you took. This suitcase is like your own history book. For who you all are isn't just what you've got, but part of, but part what you learn, part what you're taught. Who you become starts with your past, family histories, and stories that last. This great tide that brought you, seeds ancestors sowed, that took roots inside you and helped you to grow. Now you take this case and imagine it's true that you're leaving and needing to choose what says you. What would you take? Which things would they be that say to the world, hi there, this is me. What would you take? That's a big question. So I was, as I was reading the story, I was thinking about some of the things that were in there. Um, and that was pretty neat. I, I mean, maybe taking a lot of pictures along some, something that reminds you of home, um, possibly. So I hope that you think about that. Uh, I will say that this book, This Is Me, on our downloadable for BPLCT.org. This is a downloadable book through Hoopla. So if you're not familiar with Hoopla, you should call us at the library and we can help you with that. Um, with your library card, you can download this book, no waiting. Um, also, if you are interested in finding about your own family tree and your histories, we also have a database called Ancestry.com and you could also find some information about your own ancestors um, through the library at bplct.org, our online location. Thank you and I hope you enjoyed this story today as much as I enjoyed sharing it with you.